Okay, so you're gonna love this kitchen. Now you've never seen a kitchen like this and what you're gonna love about this are the details. Come on over here, we're just in time. The installer has just started to put up the one piece and as you can see, look at the fine details. This kitchen actually has four phases to it. You've got A, the section across there where the kitchen sink is, where you've got the canopy and all the different uh, glass cabinets. You have straight ahead, the theme wall where the guys are working right now. <clears throat> this is the next thing we're doing. Look at the casing. Look at the size of that. The dimensions. Take my hand <laughs> and it just about engulfs it. Like this is an all out blitz. This is a great example of a kitchen that's got to be finished in, well, what do we have roughly? Three more days. Just when you think you've seen everything, you haven't, okay? Ladies, get ready for this. 27 inch fridge, 27 inch fridge. You gotta be kidding me, no. 27 inch fridge, 27 inch fridge. Four 27 inch fridges, four freezer compartments right below. What do you do with all that food? Well, I'm gonna tell you, you've got one oven, two ovens, you've got a steamer, you got a coffee maker, you have a 40 inch cooktop, six elements, two more ovens below. Now you're thinking to yourself, holy cow, I just cooked this amazing meal with my four ovens and my four refrigerators and my four freezers. How the heck am I gonna clean all this stuff? Well, guess what? You've got one, two, three dishwashers. Where we have right now, well, the guys are finishing up the kitchen, the guys are installing the, uh, the ventilation system, but the cool part that I'm kind of pumped up about is, next stop is the granite countertop. table just try and cut it it dulled three of the blades this material is so rare it's the first time in five years we've been able to see this so the fact that we could actually capture this there was only six and a half slabs and guess what you needed to do all the countertops and the backsplash here six and one quarter slabs the island alone was three slabs you gotta love to watch this come together You're curious to see how this place is gonna turn out, right? Well, your timing's perfect because guess what? We're done! So, this place has so many toys. I'm telling you, ladies, you're gonna love this. So I'm gonna start you off right off the bat. Look at the microwave. It's a Wolf microwave. You push the on button, out it comes. You put your, mic your item in the microwave. You close it, you program it, you're on your way. But you know what? You're like, hey Paul, I'm kind of thirsty. So, you come around the corner here. You've got one, two, three, four compartments for refrigeration. But then once you're finished with your drink, what are you gonna do? Well, you're gonna grab some cutlery and you're gonna move your drink, put it into one, um, one of the dishwashers. Well, guess what? It's full. So let's wash some more. Oh, heck, there's a second dishwasher. It's full. Then you go back over to the third dishwasher and finally you're done. 
three dishwashers, one kitchen. Unbelievable. Look at the way the canopy comes all the way back around and you come all the way down to a really detailed base at the bottom here. I don't know if you can even pick this up. There's egg and dart, then a nice cold molding. Then of course you've got your uh, nice box there. Now, my favorite part of this. You ready for this? Look at the way this quartz transitions. It comes along, it kicks out, then it kicks out again, and then look at the detail with the core bells at the bottom. Look at the way the doors were designed. Do you see the, oh, it looks like almost like a 45 degree angle on this to, in order to recess it and bring it back out and kick it out here. So now you go back over to the other side, more cabinetry, more, uh, more things, and then here we go. You guys ready for this? Let's count them off together. One, two, three, four, five, six burners. And this is a really cool element because if you pick this off, you've got a griddle. So if you want to do something, but it's raining or it's snowing or it's just crappy weather outside, you've got your griddle right there. And then you think to yourself, oh, okay, we got to start cooking now. All right. So you've got one oven here. You have a second oven or a warming drawer over here. You have your options. You have all your different utensils here in case you need to use it on the uh, cooking surface. And then here we go. This is the coolest setup. And the boys are just finishing it, as you can see. This is so cool because, are you ready for this? Here's one refrigerator, two refrigerators. All right, close them up. Below, one, two, three, four freezer compartments. And you think to yourself, holy cow, so wait a minute. We had two compartments over there, two refrigerators here, four freezer compartments? Well, come on. Oh, wait a minute, we'll have an interlude. Can I make you a coffee while we're doing this little uh, photo shoot? Because this is a Miele uh, coffee machine. Whatever you want, it makes it here. Programmed with uh, milk for the cappuccinos, straight hardcore uh, espressos, or whatever you want. Another oven, holy cow, this is section number three. And you come over here, oh wow, look at that, a steamer. So all you health freaks out there worried about putting on too many calories, this is your favorite friend, because you can steam stuff till you're, till you're out of your head. Another oven. Oh, come on. How much can you cook in this place? We actually don't have a kitchen here. We have a full-blown restaurant. Here we go again. More meat. More refrigerators. More freezers. More freezers. And all I can say to you is, after all that, you got to get into the chef's desk, start to write up some recipes, get on the internet, because you've got a place that you're going to be doing a lot of cooking in to make it work. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Take one last look around with Ray. I think you're going to love this.